go to the download center and select the version of the plugin you'd like to use if you want to see the release notes you can open open up this concertina and you'll see the release notes down here i'm going to download the latest version click free download and the plugin will automatically download now I can open this file and I need to unzip the folder to extract the file. So now that's extracted. And if I go to my downloads, I can now find the extracted version. I'm going to open this up. And this main folder, I'm going to copy. Then I just find my Unreal project. In this case, I've got a project here. And go to the plugins folder in the folder of that project. So we can see my path here, documents, Unreal projects. You may have your own one. If you don't have a plugins folder, you can just create one like so and if it's called plugins it will work in this case we don't need one I open my plugins folder paste in the plugin and now I can open my Unreal project Now an alternative to putting it into the project plugins folder is I can also put it into the engine plugins folder. So in that case I go to my C drive or wherever your engine files are kept, program files, epic games. I pick the engine version of the plugin I'm using, so in this case it's 4.27. I'll just finish this. Four point two seven engine plugins runtime and then I can paste the folder in here as well. It's an alternative option. If I've done that correctly, I'll know because automatically you can see the off world live logo here. And I'm already logged in. If you're not logged in, it will prompt you to log in. And as soon as you're logged in, you're then ready to go.